Now a video statement by International Service for Human Rights. Mr. President, once again we are faced with an appalling report. Year after year, this unacceptable pattern of reprisals and intimidation dissuades engagement and emboldens perpetrators who continue to harass, intimidate, threaten and attack defenders with impunity. We are disturbed by the high number of countries cited, 41, the vast majority of which have been cited before. Through our campaign to end reprisals, we urge states to raise specific cases of reprisals, in particular those of Alexa Alfred Cunningham from Nicaragua, Vanessa Mendoza from Andorra, Kadar Abdi Ibrahim from Djibouti, Hong Kong Civil Society, Mariam Al-Balushi and Amina Al-Abduli from the United Arab Emirates. We are dismayed that the cases of Anexa, Mariam and Amina were left out of the report. This year's report comes as an emblematic case reaches a green milestone, the 10th anniversary of the arrest of late Chinese woman human rights defender Cao Xunli. Cao was detained by the authorities at Beijing's international airport in September 2013 as she tried to make her way to Geneva to attend the Human Rights Council ahead of China's second UPR. Cao died in custody in March 2014, reportedly denied adequate medical care as she faced torture and ill treatment throughout her detention. Ten years ago, the Chinese delegation vehemently interrupted ISHR's attempt to dedicate a minute of silence for Tsang in this very room. To this day, no official has been held accountable for her fate. States must use this dialogue to speak out about specific cases, push for accountability, and end to impunity and reparations for victims.